previously on Oxventure. Having vanquished the fake Katie Pearlhead and her goons, the Oxventurers learn that the next shard is being kept as a reward by an order of monks for any group of adventurers that can fulfill an ancient prophecy. On their way to the monastery, however, our heroes run into another band of adventurers called the True Heroes of Geth, who believe that they are the prophesied ones. Who will triumph? Who will end up with the shard? And which of the True Heroes of Geth will be the first to take a swing at Corazon. So the rest of your journey down river to this um, this strange and mysterious monastery that is just waiting for this prophecy to be fulfilled passes pleasantly enough. There is a lot of a lot more singing. There's a lot more hey dollar merry dongs and all that kind of stuff. Fashions me plugs out of a very fine cheese. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's also if you I guess if you you keep up uh, your rate of consumption, you basically decimate their stores. Yeah. Um, so you're all of you feeling um, like like fed up to the gills to be honest with you. Feeling real um, gouty. Yeah. I'm going to keep all the here. rind off this uh, this artisanal meat for grease spell components ah <laughs> perfect oh my god the yeah. next the next time you cast grease is going to be amazing yeah. <laughs> really high quality grease. Assortment. Oh. i look forward to arguing with you as to whether or not that should make for a better quality spell but soon enough um uh, as as everybody in geth obviously knows um the river that flows through the tangle toward the end forks um and there is sort of like an island in between the two which is covered in sort of trees and things and as you kind of you take the left fork and you start to sort of paddle. You now have to take the canoes sort of um, single file because there's a lot of silt here at the at the mouth of the, sort of the estuary and going as a, as a four boat kind of barge no longer works quite so well. So your, your boats are all kind of mixed up but as you see this island passing on your right you see like animals moving through the brush. There are adorable pigs that probably enjoy swimming, uh, that sort of thing. And then as you kind of emerge um, and you leave the river where it where it meets the the sea you see off to your left kind of um on the bank there is a strange monastery it looks very weather worn um it is very much made of stone but you can see the tide marks that come up the sides of it it's covered in sort of green clinging algae and seaweed that sort of hangs down limply the kind of stuff that really wraps around your leg when you're swimming the really fine stuff mm. there are any um, statues that sort of mark it out as what denomination it is that's a good question from the outside you do see some statues but um, they are so old and weather worn that firstly you can't make out what they are mm. and secondly um, there's no guarantee that the people who built those statues the same people who own and operate this this strange location mm. um, there are some other buildings that are sort of equally ramshackle but largely it, it does look like a, um, a ruin really and you would struggle to believe that anyone inhabits it at all if it weren't for the fact that there was uh, a congregation of a uh, good seven or eight people kind of all coming out wearing sort of like um, very heavy grey flannel sort of robes, sort of very thick rough spun um, actually um, material, all of them kind of like when people used to wear like baggy flared jeans and it had rained like the water has just crept up to about sort of their, their mid thigh level, but none of them seem to notice. So they're all sort of they've got a rope belt tied around their waist, and they are just wading through the silt towards all of you as you start to kind of paddle in and set up your um, um, it sort of beach your your canoes. I'm imagining them in um, fantasy Jenko jeans now with a, like a wallet chain. Wallet chain, yep. yeah. Oh, absolutely. Those. So you do actually see one of the. All of them have sort of a wallet chain there. <laughs> <laughs> one of them has an especially grand one that goes from hip all the way down to about mid calf and then goes up. Wow. And sort of Ceremonial of wallet chain. <laughs> almost like a necklace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the wallet chain of office. <laughs> <laughs> they um they approach. Um they all have sort of like quite heavy eye makeup around around their eyes, sort of like a lot of black coal, mm. expertly and inexpertly um applied. One of them, the one with the the very grand chain, steps forward and goes Hello, my name is Claudette. Are you the ones of whom the prophecy foretold? 
Well, I'm going to let them answer first. I would like to mm. see um, how they're received. Harmony uh, practically bursts forth from his boat and says, Yes! We are Geth's true heroes, here to fulfil the prophecy and claim what is rightfully ours. And then what happens? I think we should, we should, we should get in on this. Yeah. Uh, you think we should? Yeah. All right, go for claim, it then. We should claim this okay, prophecy. Corazon. This is our prophecy. It's clearly right. about us. Yeah. All right. I spring forward into a very heroic pose, mm-hmm. <laughs> and I say, "No, tis I, Corazon de Bayena of the Oxventurers Guild, the prophesized adventurers." <laughs> what? I wave from behind. Hello. Hi. What is happening Hi. here? <laughs> That's right. Um, we are the prophesized great heroes of Geth. I say, and then I strike another heroic pose. I stand up in the canoe and do more heroic poses. We all do heroic poses. I do a headstand. <laughs> this is this is nonsense. You are you are tourists. You said so. Tourists. We, we, could a tourist do this? I say and flawlessly backflip. Um, Dex acrobatics, please. Um, <laughs> Harmony says, uh, <laughs> please. Uh, Wait, dexterity. Yeah, that's good. Keepers of the law. <laughs> Uh, please, we beseech you, hold on. Um, we are the true heroes of Geth. We are here to fulfill the prophecy. These people, we, we brought them with us because they wish to travel the world. They're not, they're not adventurers. You so, don't need to take them seriously. Uh, what it's is a, but a adventuring ten. but traveling the world? A, yeah. ten. Mm. We're adventure tourists. That's yeah. right. We're adventurers, Harmony. So, <laughs> yeah, step off. We, we believe we're the true heroes of Geth and we are the prophesized ones. And so, more for you yeah. for giving us a ride. This is obscene. Um, Corazon, <laughs> you you're, are. You, the, the sand um, and sort of shingle stuffed up your landing a bit. So you kind of went to land. Your weight was slightly too far forward on the balls of your feet. So you sort of fell onto your hands and knees. But you styled it out into like a cool roll. Into a, so like, kind of, <sighs> that's right. Yeah. <laughs> um, but now you like sand. you're you're wet all down your back uh, and you've got yeah, sand like in I your boots. The keepers of the law, please! This is obscene. Claudette says, uh, "Hold on, hold on. Uh, it is true. I'm Claudette. I'm the law keeper. I'm the head of our order here. But uh, if the rules are very simple in this case. If there is a prophecy to be answered, anyone who comes and claims to be the prophesized uh, heroes gets a chance to prove themselves. That's right, baby. Prophesied a go-go over here, I say." <laughs> Fully, yeah. fully in command of the situation. Yeah, I don't think how, like, you know, just saying, oh, we're definitely the heroes, I don't think that's very heroic, really. Yeah, true so. heroes are humble, like us, I say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll let the prophecy decide. Yeah. By which I mean these very fine monks, I think. Yeah. Just at the very fine I monks. think it's up to them. What do you mean it's not heroic, says Bogheck? This is what you did. You said you were heroes. You're just doing what we've done. You're just copying us. But in a, in a more it sort of humble, heroic way. No, don't do that. I hate it when don't people do, do that. No, I the hate bard it when used people. to do that. Stop oh, it. No, the bard used to do that. So, oh, you all oh, not friends with all. Moving. <gasps> Moving. <Ooh. laughs> As you can see. Moving. As yeah, you Claudette. Can see, get away with this, Claudette. No, look get away with no, these. No, no, look, no. I, I am. I am the druid who defies the moon. Lady, lady of the order. Please don't listen to them. Erwin is constantly defying the moon. Defies she, the moon, she's, but she's, like he's calling on it right I, now. I saw him earlier on making out with the moon. <laughs> Stop mm-hmm. it. No, I wasn't. Just anyway. last night I saw Erwin just like full on swearing at the moon. She was flipping it off storm. Storm. like yeah, crazy. Yeah, flipping it off. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> exactly. the moon. She's flipping um, off where the moon is, even though it's not night. Corazon, I know you it's going to be. Here, you practically um, feel the lips of Cora de Leonessa as she comes up and whispers into your ear I saw you making out with an entire wheel of Edam last night so let's not <laughs> let's not get too feisty here shall we what's yeah. happening over there Corazon <laughs> it seems I... hot what happened between me and that wheel of Edam is between us I don't think it's some any sort your... of cheese ASMR going on over yeah. there she's sort of backing up and just it's none of your business oh. Contessa did whatever <laughs> um, Claudette says, well, I, listen, I am bound by uh, the tenets of, uh, of the law keepers, which are uh, obviously, uh, this is why we wear these ceremonial chains. They are very important. They were forged of uh, a fantastic uh, new metal. 
<laughs> and, uh, so we will proceed inside to the um, to the to the monastery. We did they make the up. links in the park? Where? How did you know? Oh, I just just had a feeling. You oh know. wow. Um, <laughs> Uh, we will proceed into the monastery. We will put you up tonight. Uh, obviously, uh, in the morning, we will hold the trials. We'll have a dinner of some limp biscuits and some corn. <laughs> Sounds uh, disgusting. Yes, we, it is only... Po- we have a very, very <laughs> poor fare here, but uh, we hope it will uh, satisfy you anyway. And then tomorrow we will see who the uh, prophesied uh, heroes truly are. Mm. I think we will. Mm-hmm. I think we will. Yeah. Great. All right. Well, if you would Come like to me. follow me into into your rooms unless anyone else has any uh, non rejoiners to add to the um, <laughs> non secretaires or uh... no not no? any okay. good ones okay. <laughs> <laughs> you seem disturbed so absolutely slip not let's go <laughs> oh <laughs> oh if only my father had lived to see this day Papa Roach is it <laughs> what? what? <laughs> I'm Claudette Rush? I'm Claudette Rush? Unfortunately, yes. he fell in that I'm drowning pool. I'm ten paces ahead. I miss my papa very much. <laughs> he was, uh, oof. He fell in battle. It was his last resort. <laughs> <laughs> he was cut to pieces. Anyway, uh, we's, we've tarried too long. The tide is coming in. <laughs> Wiping their brows laboriously, the people of the monastery start to lead you as if nothing is wrong <laughs> toward uh, toward their their humble home. Okay, hey everyone, I think we should stow the stow the boats like in a cove or you know like at least mm-hmm. beach them so they won't be washed away. Because who knows when we will need to make a quick, a quick exit. Guess <laughs> <Exit. laughs> we should um, we should make sure our boats are safely secured. You never know when we may need to leave victoriously. Real original yeah. harmony. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Elf warlock. What's a holy elf warlock when it's at home, Harmony? Tell yeah. me that. <laughs> well, I've been blessed by by, by Carolon herself. She she made elves. The very Why maker don't... of elves has blessed me with Why don't her you just powers. say you're a paladin and be done with it? I'm not a paladin. Bridget is. Aren't you Bridget? She kind of like jumps back uh, in alarm at somebody raising their voice. Mm-hmm. Oh, Bridget. Yes. I just feel sorry for you. You're running with the wrong cl- crowd. They're so loud. <laughs> yeah, I would like Singing to attempt. all the time. <laughs> yeah, I would like to attempt to pickpocket uh, the rogue. Uh, make me a deck stealth check, please. It's a seventeen plus four, twenty-one plus three, twenty-four. I rolled. A, well, I, including bonuses, I rolled a twenty-two. Hell yeah! You get uh, a pocketbook of 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 Geth lore. Cool. Might come in useful. Good times. I'm just gonna no. I'm just gonna be ostentatiously reading it in the open. Harmony, what does your pact entail? What's your bond? What what demands does your warlock patron put on you? That I serve the forces of good where I go, and uh. that my courage never falters. Uh. Why? What's your? Who's yours? <laughs> Cthulhu, the great old one from Beyond Space. <laughs> Oh, it's good. It's a cool warlock patron for cool warlocks. Oh, what does he want? Many things, often murder. Sometimes Ooh. not murder. Oh. Sometimes something strange and arcane and un- unknowable and mystifying. Okay, well, good luck getting the artifact. A oh, holy yeah. warlock, his friend to all. Oh, oh yeah, that, no, that is true. That, Do you that have any friends? Prophecy. Do you have any friends? Uh, she's yeah. my friend. I'm surrounded by friends. <laughs> <laughs> Bog heck practically barrels harmony out of the way. It's like, oh, big whop! Big whop, one friend! <laughs> what are you Bog saying heck. about my friend Prudence? I, sh- I shout. I'm all the friends she needs. Yeah. Big whop. So we're all I friends. I grab Meryl very great. tightly. Like, ugh. Sure, the, we uh, aggressively uh, hug each friend. other. Yeah, yeah. We're best friends. Friends. Friend. <laughs> <laughs> he, he absolutely loses it and he casts animal friendship on a nearby crab. He's like, well, look, <laughs> this crab's my friend. That's on his job. He's like, get, get Doesn't away. Count if it's animal I cast friendship, animal loser. friendship on it. <laughs> so Stop it becomes it. my friend. Yeah, no. go, to, go to the one you love. Crab he face. Go to the one, one, one you love, love. crab. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, my God. We'll settle this tomorrow at the monastery. Yeah, we will. <laughs> we eyeball all four of the adventures. Yeah. Yeah. 
I think we've really gotten into their heads, guys. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Before we head back, um, I don't think Quarry's noticed I've taken the book yet, so I just uh, snap it shut and go, this wasn't very interesting, and throw it to her. Okay. Oh. Might want to keep an eye on your uh, on your possessions. She drops Let's... it and it lands in a rock pool. Awkward. Anyway, catch you guys tomorrow for the trial. Good luck. <laughs> You're going to need it. <laughs> um, <laughs> you... <laughs> it's, it's slightly awkward because that was a pretty great diss and if, if you'd all walked off in an opposite direction oh. then it would have been really like really impactful but you're all going to the same place are we getting in the, ele yeah. we getting the elevator together <laughs> um, not quite that bad but uh, Claudette meets was like oh, this, is, uh, this is Benoit he will show you to your uh, accommodation um, and uh, I hope you enjoy a pleasant evening. I will see you tomorrow. I must go prepare for uh, the right of, um, of proving the, the prophecy. This is a big day for us. And uh, I hope you all sleep well. If you need anything, just uh, just let Benoit or anybody else know. And uh, I will see you then, okay? Okay. Sounds okay, good. Of course, yes. Benoit goes, all right. Um, <laughs> is that all of you? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Yeah, yep. all right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that's it. Yeah. yeah. So that's four for the prophecy. Four for each prophecy team. Yeah, all right. Yeah. I'll show you two we'll rooms. Just ask, ask four for the prophecy, and these these folks will be leaving soon, I imagine. Yeah, these pretenders will be out of here tomorrow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I really listen, mate. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just letting ben you know what? in advance. <laughs> yeah. You know, what? I actually I'm like just this saying, guy. Benoit, if you're a, <laughs> Benoit, if you're a betting man, I will just say. Say no more. Bet on your ears. <laughs> yeah. Yes, Benoit. That's what I'm saying. Bet on my ears. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right, um, three gold pieces on that the pirate's ears. Anyone? All right, nope. your money, Benoit. He's going to cut off his own ears to earn <laughs> three gold. He shows you sort of upstairs the sort of entrance way. It doesn't even have a front door. That's how sort of how long this place has just been sort of washed by the the, the tides coming in and going out. But. Um, he shows you upstairs where it's still very damp, but at least you're not actually in standing water. Um, he shows you to some very simple cloistered rooms with just, you know when they've got like wooden boards with chains that you sort of pull down mm. just to rest on so they can rest on so they can be packed up again. Mm. Basically, he shows every, there are, there are about a dozen of those. So he gives each one of you one of them. In fact, he doesn't even point them out. He's like, here you go, there's, there's a dozen of those. Uh, Pick whichever one you want. It doesn't really matter. Um, like I say, I don't care. Cool. Cool. The, Benoit. the cool. true heroes of Geth stand there, just frowning, just waiting for you to pick what rooms you want. You go first, and then we'll pick the ones that are furthest away from you as possible. Fine. We'll pick the, the best rooms then. All right, which are the best rooms? Great. Yeah. We, we run around looking at, for the best rooms. They are, in fairness, practically identical. Only through rapid acts of sabotage can you actually differentiate between the rooms <laughs> being any good. Okay, is there a bathroom or are they en suite? Very good point. There is a bathroom down at the end of the hall. I want the room next to the bathroom. Okay. But that's going to smell awful. You want the room next to the room. I want the room to the adjacent to the one next to the <laughs> Yeah, okay. So the two closest to the bathroom will leave and then the rest yep. of them will yep. take. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, 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 so yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll yeah. actually that's split strategic. the yeah, we'll split the group up as well. So there'll be two down by the bathroom and two down the other end. Perfect. Okay, yeah. great. So the nice. um, they can't even be close to each other. <laughs> Nailed it. Yeah. Um when it comes time for them to pick, um they're so excited that they charge in without even thinking about it. You hear um Bog Heck Yelling like yes, yes, closest to the bathroom. Take that, you, you pretenders! Yeah. <laughs> oh, bog heck! Yeah, and Egg, but you <laughs> go and destroy the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, you had so much cheese. Egg, yes. eating all that rich meat and cheese. <laughs> oh no! Egg, but you know what you have to do. <laughs> oh, take oh, one no. for the team. This is the worst thing you've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Ox Venture is complete. Your nighttime ablutions quickly. <laughs> <laughs> you've got the bathroom door, and then you've got um, you've got Bog Heck. I'm going to say you've more got... More like Bog Head. <laughs> you've got Cuore de, de Leonessa okay. there, and okay. then you've got Ox Venture is in two rooms of two, mm -hmm. uh, and then you've got Harmony, and you've got Bridget. And they, they, all of them are just sulking in their rooms with the doors open, but there's just a, a really heavy pause where you're like, God, we can all hear each other breathing and we hate <laughs> each other, but we're all stuck here. In fact, Harmony wow. goes, well, we're all stuck here. I've been in this youth hostel before. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Um, <laughs> before I go to sleep, um, mm-hmm. and for the last ten minutes, in fact, I've been using detect magic, just in case there's any like any magical things along the way to, to detect in this monastery, in this very okay. old monastery. I'm going out for some drinks. I'll be back around three. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, bye. Bye. Kaore starts reading with like an incredibly powerful light on. She's no. not even bothering to put the cover over her head. <laughs> like the, the corridor is extremely well lit. Boo. Um <laughs> I cast fog cloud in her room. <laughs> in blatantly defying the um the the signs on the wall that say no fogging. <laughs> um you cast fog cloud. You hear mm. her just tutting loudly and like <laughs> You hear a page turn every now and then, just a <sighs> really theatrical <laughs> sigh. Mm. Prudence, you from about ten minutes ago, yeah. you you were like, mm, there's something something pretty magic here. There's a there's a there's definitely a powerful presence in okay. this this monastery type place. Mm. Um, now you're in your room, so you can kind of focus it a bit better. Okay, the place seems relatively inert, but kind of you know how. Uh, detect magic kind of almost gives you like detective vision as mm. per many many video games mm-hmm. you're aware that there is a large open space and on the floor of it there seems to be just a very magical sort of platform that's circular somehow Okay, that's what you get you also get from further over sort of beyond that room and possibly down a bit or even high up in a, in a high tower it's hard to pinpoint you can feel a slight hum as if from a magical artifact of some sort. Interesting. Oh, interesting. Okay, right. I sketch that onto a little map um, mm-hmm. because I don't want those pretenders to overhear us. Um, I sketch it onto a little map and then I pass it around, you know, from room to room. It's a circular thing and then possibly the key, the shard we're looking for is over here. Hmm. Sketch it on there. So. so we're all clued up. Except for Corazon, who's gone out for drinks. I've gone out, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Corazon, you found you found just like sort of an isolated. In fact, there's a, there's an isolated wine bar on the island Great. that you pass with all the wild pigs on it and stuff, and it's called Wilbur's Tiki Shack. <laughs> <laughs> Love it, because a lot a lot of like a lot of those mangoes and and mm-hmm. pineapples and stuff they fall into the waters and they just just fish them out. Yeah. of the of the river. All right, so I'll spend a pleasant evening drinking tiki cocktails and chatting to the locals, and yep. then uh, stagger back in about three a.m., making mm-hmm. sure that I hit the hit the beds and doors of the <laughs> uh, the true adventurers <laughs> guild. Accidentally uh, try and get into into bed with uh, yep. with one of them, realise it's oh god, I'm sorry, I was uh, so over here, um, sort of stepping on them. As I, you yeah. you've clambered into Harmony's bed. Yeah. Harmony mm. is is kneeling before the bed, praying. All right. Oh, kind of go, <laughs> oh, oh God! I fall oh, asleep. No. In, I fall asleep in it. Oh, <laughs> this is unbelievable! I'm going to have to start at, at, at this prayer from the beginning, and it takes three hours. Oh, I, sorry, sorry. I say I can't. I stand up, wrapped in all of the um, blankets, and leave. Stop it! Those are my blankets. Oh. Still wearing the blankets. <laughs> oh. God. Sorry, Caroline. I didn't realize the wrong room. I'll go to my Caroline, room now. Cast your warming light on me, please. It's very cold, and there's a bounder who's taken my covers. And uh, yeah, Bog Heck is just—you can just hear Bog Heck going. I shouldn't have taken this room. Eggbert. Oh, Eggbert. Oh, they must be evil. They must be evil. <laughs> Oh. Egbert's now asleep and snoring extremely loudly, probably quite close to Bridget's room. Incredible. You sort of wake in the night to get a glass of water or something, and you can just hear her sobbing softly. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Unless there's any other business, the uh, what little remains of the night passes. You are awoken by hushed, whispered voices being like, they're even worse than I thought. They're awful. <laughs> Maybe we can go down and get the trial done now. Well, they're asleep. I mean, the the rogue came in plastered, <laughs> absolutely hammered. He's, he's going to be sleeping in surely. Ah, oh, um, morning! I, oh, I shout. Ah, <laughs> oh, who wants a bacon sandwich? <laughs> I do. No, Stop I don't. Frying it up on a burner. Oh, Bogheck is is really out of sorts. 
In fact, <laughs> you you don't quite hear what Quare says to um to him. He goes, "Well, at least Aero goes out every now and then." <gasps> Oh, ho, ho. Um, Se- oh. Seeds of descent. Oh, oh, oh. You trouble in paradise. You hear like us. <gasps> From sort of knee height as Bridget kind of recoils. In fact, Bridget runs off crying um, and happens to run straight into Corazon's room. You feel like a gentle tug on the arm of your... Um, mm. oh, sorry, on, on your on your sort of sleeve cuff. Hey. Oh, hello. Do you want a bacon sandwich? Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'll make up one of my trademark uh, bacon sangers. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, here you go. What makes a Corazon bacon sanger a Corazon bacon sanger? Oh, there's a special uh, sauce that I make. It's um, it's sort of it's a bit like HP, but it's got a little uh, little spicy kick to it. Ooh. I, I make it myself. <laughs> I brew it myself on the ship. But anyway, I always carry a bottle of it with me. Right. So I just add that. She yeah. grabs the bacon sanger. I sit across from Bridget at breakfast, and I just slide a pamphlet over. For Lavash Mauve, and I'm like, if you're ever considering changing deity, you know, just switch it just up. Bear in, bear in mind, you know, this is the information, all the information you need is in the pamphlet, so. Uh, yeah, cover your bases. Just, uh, yeah, just think about it, you know. Um. You see her sort of raise an eyebrow at just all of the descriptions of bombs? Hmm. Nah. She, she was half reaching for a pamphlet, but she's like, sort of puts that back. She doesn't think you're likely to be converted to her or in order. But out of politeness, she kind of feeds it into like <laughs> the, the male slot near the yeah. top of her breastplate. <laughs> I say, oh, wait a minute, I've crisped up some onions. Let me just put that in the sandwich there for a bit of textural oh. counterpoint. Oh, amazing, thank you. Mm. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> I tied one on last night, let me tell you. Great little <laughs> place, actually. Wilbur's uh, Tiki Shack. Oh. Fully recommend it. Yeah? Hmm. Maybe. Oh, a wonderful time. Great clientele. Um, I don't know how. They didn't have any sort of karaoke equipment, but karaoke certainly broke out at one point. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, maybe we shouldn't go. Oh, no, it was just tremendous fun. I had a great time. Oh, I'm glad you did. Mm. Okay. Oh, ready for, a, re- ready for an exciting day of trials? I know I am. Yeah? Yeah. I'm yeah. yeah. going to start warming up. Mine's quite easy. I just don't have to make a boom. Yeah, well, <laughs> good luck. I mean, I know how paladins are, you know. <laughs> yeah, I'm starting to see that. Mm. Okay, but thank you for the sandwich. Yeah, no, you're welcome. Bridget kind of hops off and, and scurries away. Let the others know they can have one except that rogue. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You are sort of left with the, the rest of the breakfast stuff. They've all kind of stomped off haughtily. During your breakfast, um, Benoit came up and was like, all right, um, listen, uh... Uh, we've not had this anymore uh, uh, before, but Claudette reckons uh, there there might be sort of some stupid race to um, try and identify yourselves as the prophesied heroes. So we're going to do this in rounds. Okay. So they start in two hours. Don't be late, obviously. But anyone who tries to come in and fulfil the prophecy early, we're not going to allow it. <laughs> blah blah blah. Just play fair, all right? All right. Yeah. Okay. Right. Not even a problem. Yeah. We always play fair. We're Hear that, guys? You can't heroes. go in early. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Yeah. No cheating, you you lot. All right. Yeah, what's their deal? Claudette seems to think they're the re- the, the real deal, and that you're just chances and bounders. Ch- um, oh. crim- probably criminal scum. I think she might have said. Oh. I don't know. It's, you know, I I took the name Benoit when I joined the order, but I still can't get my head around the accent. You know. Yeah. yeah. So um, mm-hmm. I don't know. She, either way, she doesn't. She don't like you. But um, I, I'm starting to think it's the other lot are, are uh, a little bit. You know, a little bit. It's very astute of you, Benoit. If yeah, you don't yeah. mind my asking, why did you join this order, and what is it, and what's its deal? Oh, um, I got. Uh, at... Not supposed to tell you this. I'm supposed to tell you I joined up out of sort of like um, uh, de- devotion to uh, being a law keeper and, and holding some of the sacred artifacts of, of Geth until such a time as the, the rightful people come to claim them. Because obviously, there's lots of magic things here in here in Geth and the law keepers. It's, you know, it's like a it's like a giant lost and found. We've got yeah. stations everywhere. We're we we're, we're linking up people who've lost their stuff with the people who need to find it. Um, it, it I don't sorry, know whether have you, have you seen a good bow here by any chance? <laughs> no. Good bow. I think we might have one. Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll ask later. I'll ask I'd have later. to dig up the prophecy, but. <laughs> All right. Cool. Cool. All right. Uh, yeah. No. I'll have a, I'll have a look because you never. I mean, you know, you're here doing one. You might as well do another. But no. Uh, no. I just got absolutely battered at the uh, at, uh, at the tiki shack and um, oh, I think good, I got. Isn't it? Yeah. But when yeah. I woke up, I was here in robes and apparently I'd taken some form of pledge. Oh. I don't know to this day whether I was kidnapped 
or whether I actually got so plastered that I joined an order, but I'm too embarrassed now to back out. We've all been there. So they get <laughs> yeah, we've all been there, yeah. <laughs> all right, well, Claudette's waiting, um, well, she will be waiting in a couple of hours. Whenever you're ready, I'm going to go look for a bow and a prophecy, I guess. Nice one. Nice. Cheers, Benoit. Thank you. Thanks, Benoit. He walks out, scratching under his arms. <laughs> All right, well, I don't know about you, nice you folks, but I think we're more than up to the challenge of whatever this prophecy thing. Those, is, there any, is there any intel we can get about what the challenges might entail? Well, yeah. surely the challenges are going to be like proving we are, as the prophecy mm, describes, yeah. which so means be like, hey, but you simply have to not explode or do explosions. Mm. <laughs> For, um, yeah, an this might of time. be trickier than we thought. How are we going to keep Egbert from exploding, and how am I going to be fr- holy and friend to all? That's yes. Well, I read that. I read that other rogue's entire book of ancient lore, so got all that up here. Prudence. At one point, you literally had a hole in you when we fought the big sea guy. Oh, yeah. She's always oh, holy. Put... There's holes okay, in her all put... the time. We'll just put another hole in me. Yeah. Not now. Then... <laughs> No, but then like, it's not holy if I'm not. It's fine. I can take it. We just put like a flesh wound here or something, and then I'll okay. be holy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And again, we have to assume that the original prophecy was written in a language where the same homonyms apply <laughs> as the ones we're using now. <laughs> but yeah, we'll put some holes in me. I'll just, you know, it's just some, you know, yeah. superficial wounds. Get some holes in me, and then uh, I'll be fr- I'll be friendly. I can be friendly for like half an hour. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I think we can pass any trials that these rubbish adventurer idiots can pass easily yeah. and better than them. Yeah. Okay. So let's just let's go for it. We've got two hours. Do you not? Do, what do you want to do for two hours? I guess. Oh, all right. Fine. We can prepare. <laughs> <laughs> how are we gonna? Pre- how are we gonna prepare? Maybe. All right. Let's see if we can figure out what the trials are before. Let's see if we can go and like peek in at the door. I know yeah. we're not allowed to go in early, but maybe that we can have a little peek at this. You know, I told you about the circular platform that I sensed mm. with Detect Magic. Yeah. Maybe let's go and take a look at this platform, see if it's got any clues. All right, let's go for it. Okay, we, we go to in the direction Benoit pointed us, where the trials will take place. Okay, and sure. And look for a keyhole or a peephole or a crack in the door or some way of getting an eyeball. One open. of those paintings with two eyes. Yeah. Out. Could you send your magic orb that sees things? Oh, I could. In fact, I could use it, but I'm thinking of my spell slot, Sandy. Mm. Mm. Corazon, I have but two spell slots. So let's go and have a look for a keyhole first. <laughs> okay. Um, you are, I'm going to say, like, the, the monastery, is, it's a monastery. It's pretty quiet. You notice that the uh, the true heroes of Geth are outside having an extended huddle, which seems exhausting for Bridget. As she's just having to hang on to some arms Aww. and sort of look up as they're all, like, shoulder... That Bridget. Shoulder huddling. Yeah. You can make your way to the hall. The hall itself, the door is ajar. Oh, Okay. So what does it look like to in sneak there? In. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, what can we see from the ajar door? Because we don't want to get in trouble. Mm. Yeah, exactly. You know, I hate trouble. Mm. We want to bend the rules, not break mm. them. Mm. I walk through the door. Oh. <laughs> Corazon! <laughs> What's going on here? It looks like... Um, it almost looks like a gymnasium, basically. There are kind of like stone bleachers up on either side. Mm. Clearly this monastery was built with um, a larger sort of actual group of devoted in mind. It looks like a basketball court, but without the markings. But in the middle of the floor, there is a large sort of circle of very highly polished, you're not sure if it's stone or some sort of done metal, to be honest with you. Prudence, you can sense that this is the thing you were sensing before. Mm. That's about all you get from from here, but um, Mm. this is where the trial is used to take place. Okay. okay, well, well, that's good. We know it's not a sort of obstacle course. There's no like so... marks, no burns on the wall or marks in the floor that would indicate like blades or fire or bombs or anything like that. No, nothing mm. like that. Oh, interesting. Mm. All right. There's some sort of wild cat on the wall, but you think that that's possibly down to whoever was there before. That's the mascot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Huh. Okay. Okay. Ah, oh, the time of our lives. Mm. All right. Uh, can we see how the other group is preparing? Can we sure. Sort of, like eavesdrop on them. Yeah, you can do that if you like. Yeah, all right, I'd like to see how they're preparing. Just, please. You're sneaky, Corazon. Why don't you sneak up? Right, I'll sneak up. I feel and like see we'll give they're... the game away if we all go. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, make a make a stealth check, please, Corazon. I wouldn't worry too much. Thirteen. Okay, you're able you're able to um to to sneak up on them, and that Harmony's trying to give a speech. Be like, listen, it's all going to be fine. We are the true heroes of Geth. These people didn't even know about the prophecy until we told them, so there's no way they can unseat us. I mean, look at us. 
We fit it perfectly. There have been so many prophecies about us before. We can't fail. I'm a holy warlock. I'm a friend to everyone. Look at you. Bridget. You hate loud noises. And... You know, Kuare... I know that... I know that you've had your feelings hurt by Bog Heck. It would be nice to see you... You know, if you would come to dinner once or twice, maybe, sometimes, but... You know, you're rich in ancient lore. You know, and that's great. Because you've got hobbies. You know? And Bog Hack, you, ri you just can't cast Moonbeam, can you? <laughs> you just can't do it. And you hear Bog Hack be like, shut up. I know what my role is. I'm ready. Alright. I step onto that plate and nothing's going to happen. You hear? Nothing. And then there's just more like, uh, you hear Bridget go, is anyone else hungry? <laughs> um, you hear Bog Hack being like, you're not having another one of those... those those dastardly sandwiches. Who knows what was in it? I should brew you up an anti-poison poultice. I'm good at being a druid! <laughs> God! Right. Oh, it's really under my skin. I'm going to head back to the group and be like, a lot of self-doubt going on over there in that group, so I okay. think we've done that job pretty well. So okay. that discord. Good. We're in their heads. Yeah. Um, so the magical plate, it seems like, obviously Corazon has told us what he's heard, Mm -hmm. It seems like maybe the magical plate will, I don't know, do you think, like, draw Moonbeam out of a druid if they can do Moonbeam? I don't Is know. That... Or maybe, maybe they just have to go up and try and cast it. And if they don't cast it, maybe yeah. that's enough. So maybe it's when easy Bog to pretend to not face. cast something. Maybe when Sorry, Bogface go goes up, you could cast Moonbeam. <gasps> yep. Eggbutt. Mm. Oh. Not Merylwen. Because oh. druid. <laughs> I was just wondering, is there any way we can block Merylwyn's magic for like, you know, half an hour or something? Does anyone have any like mute magic Mute spells? magic spell. No, it's not really a... That's a bit OP, isn't it? I could cover yeah. her in Greece, it might block the magic from coming out. Hey, guys. Yeah? Shunning is an active thing. Oh, okay. Okay. When they say cast move me, I just go... He just, no, I will not. I Whereas refuse. he just can't. He has no choice in the matter. Oh, so we're going to get them again with the legalese. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's how we're going <laughs> to could them. say we're rich in ancient lore. <laughs> oh, All right, okay. well, let's just let's, right. let's undergo the trials. I'm ready, I say. R rich in ancient lore? You mean that your ancestry is... Uh, Includes a dread pirate who owns a fantastic old house. That that's pretty. Your ah. life is pretty rich in lore, Corazon. Yes. I would say. Literally, not figuratively rich. I.e., the best mm. kind. Yeah. You are mm. No, they are also very literally rich. Yeah. 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 So yeah. yeah, exactly. So okay. So so someone quickly stab me, and then we'll be ready. Right. <laughs> let's just so get. Let's just. Uh, we'll figure it out. We'll just. Ja we'll jazz trials it. Prudence, look to your nose. Everyone's got these, Merwin. This yes. is not a holy warlock. But it's two holes in your face. <laughs> All right, you bunch of cowards. I stab myself in the shoulder. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm not going to make you roll for that. <laughs> I'm going to say that you've just, you've got... A yeah. significant hole in you now. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I it's... use a very fine stiletto blade, so there's definitely a hole, but it's not a massively dangerous yeah, 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 yeah. damaging it's like you, injury. It's like you used a hole punch. Yeah. Great, oh. it's fine. It's a real clean through and through. It, it's going to heal right. up fine. There won't even be a scar. It's going to be fine. All right. Okay, cool. I'm just like like extracting. There we go. And uh, I'm done. All right, I'm ready. Let's go. You sneak back out of the room just inside to hear a bell ring. You just hear a big like, bong from a tower. And then another bong. And the bell sounds really tortured, like it's been up there for ages without having been rung. In fact, on the third peal, you hear it's going, and the, the bell crashes down into the floor, mm. appearing in a cloud of smoke, doubtless kicked up by part of the tower coming down. Claudette appears mm. and goes, the time for the trial has come. Sorry, I didn't, sorry, I didn't catch that. <laughs> I said the time Damn. for the trial has come. Right, the Yay. time for the good. Woo, okay, yeah, trial. ready, ready. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm wearing my trial coat and my trial boots. They look identical to what you were wearing. To the untrained eye. Okay. Why do you smell so much like rum? I'm <laughs> quite, still quite drunk. Let's go. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay, no, that makes sense. You are lined up uh, opposite. You're, you're lined up. They split. They split this long hall in half, 
and you're lined up facing one another, each against, like, facing your, your counterpart in a row. Claudette says, This is a strange and auspicious day for the Lord Keepers of Geth. Uh, we have a prophecy being held here that calls for a sneak thief rich in ancient lore, an early warlock, uh, friend to all, uh, a druid who defies the moon, and a paladin who makes no booms. Uh, we have two uh, parties claiming to uh, fulfill this prophecy, and so in the interest of fairness, we are going to um, just uh, do it one by one, trial by trial, and well, frankly the rule states that you must uh, g get all four correct in order to get the artifact, but uh, frankly, um, I've been in, in consultation with the rest of the... Um, as the Lord Keepers here, and we feel like maybe it would just be more exciting if we make it, uh, you know, best of four, kind of, uh, whoever has the most points at the end uh, wins, and if it's a draw, we go to sudden death. Yeah, is that where <laughs> okay. one of us suddenly dies? <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, great. Uh, let's see the, the first trial. Uh, is a sneak thief uh, rich in ancient lore? Alright, let's go. Okay. What's the trial? Kawara de Leona, de Leona has been reading up until this point. She puts the book away, kind of stands there, not really wanting to talk to anyone. She goes, okay. Hey. Hey, Kawari, how's it going? You right? Sh shut up. You have a good night? Shut up. I found a really good bar nearby. It's got tiki drinks. I don't care, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Ask her about Bogheck. Ask her about Bogheck. That's cool. How's, how are things with Bogheck? It seems like you two maybe, maybe had a falling out. Not I don't want to talk to anyone about Bogheck. Why would I talk to you about Bogheck? You're not friends anymore? Why, why are you asking me so many questions? What, do you want to ask me out for a drink? Do you want to take me to that tiki bar after this? Fine! Okay, <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, yes. that's, what, <laughs> that's what you're in. Sweet no, 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 I don't want that. Shut Woo. up. Let's get on with Woo. the trial. God. Hey, okay, okay. Uh, Claudette goes, okay, trials are first. How many sons does Geth have? Easy. I say. Go on. It's, uh... Ooh. Well, that's correct. Yes. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, human pirate rogue, you were the first to answer, so we're going to cause that one point, uh, one point, to uh, team. Uh, what did you call yourselves? Uh, the team w winners. Team winners. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no point for. Um, T team losers, the, I think they were called. For the true, the <laughs> true heroes <laughs> of lose death. Losers. Sorry, I'm sure you do know the answer, but uh, you know it is the one question, and it's not fair for you to give the same answer once I've already asked it. So uh, we made it kind of like a buzzer around. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> sorry, Quarry is standing there just like shell shocked. <laughs> I I stayed up. I've been awake for a week studying the law of Geth. Mm. And that was the question. Could you have got that though? How Probably many? not. Yes. Mm, could you? I've, I've looked not in if... the sky. Mm, not have if you never go out? It's the you kind of go it's... out. How are you supposed to know? It's the kind of thing you really have to know, and I'm not sure. I... This is unbelievable. This is ridiculous. Call me. She says, and she <laughs> the circle and goes back and just sits down with her back to absolutely everyone. Sorry. Claudette says, uh, "Now we have uh, an early warlock who is a friend to all." Okay. I limp uh, onto the platform, bleeding slightly. Yeah. Uh, oh. You appear to have I'm been ho Holy Warlock. Yeah, look. That's a hole. Uh, 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 uh. That's not a joke. Uh, it's literally true. Yeah. What? Is that no, the trial? We, uh, no. We very oh. much meant, like, holy in purpose. Oh. And good to everybody. Oh, uh, so no, no homonyms then? No. Okay. Um, no. Oh, I stabbed myself for nothing. <laughs> Oh, did you assume that the prophecy was um, translated yeah. from some other? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it was written yeah. in common. And the homonyms. Oh. And the... Oh. It, it, we're a relatively recent order. So... Not big on wordplay. Okay. All right. No. Okay. All right. Well, bring it on. I'm. Okay. Now well... I look stupid, don't I? Here we are. No, Maybe. no, no. It's it's fine. We'll we'll proceed. Uh, yes, do not please. worry. Um, if you feel faint, please sit down. Okay. Um, and Oli Warlock, a friend to all. Uh, I suppose uh, you're on the, t the team with the fewest points. Harmony, uh, do you have something to say? She says, yes, I do. My patron is Koran, the most holy and uh, blessed of all warlock patrons. I 
serve Corallon to bring goodness and justice to all. And that makes me a great pal to have around. For example, we were coming down the river with endless stores, enough to last us a year if we were on short rations, of cheeses and wines and breadsticks and olives and hummuses and hooses. <laughs> Hey, and you said unlimited breadsticks. I did. <laughs> I didn't ran set out. limits on any of it. That's just the kind of guy I am. I had to eat the last they of the hummus with it. my hands. But will you hear me complaining? No, not even when that one ate the last of the hummus with his hands. Yeah. So I while, this, while this is going on, can I scope out what is Bridget wearing? Does She's got the armour, <laughs> but does she have any pouches or anything like that? Um, She's wearing full plate, but she has a lot of cunning, like, leather wraps and stuff to, to soften yeah. the sound of the armour so mm -hmm. she's not clanking I'd just like to you know find an appropriate spot maybe down the back of the neck to just pour the tiniest amount of gunpowder <laughs> from one of my bombs so I'm oh, going to uns wow. unscrew just the top of the bomb just a tiny tiny amount okay, not enough to cause be, any harm this is going just to be a dexterity stealth check yeah, yeah that's is. fine this is, gonna be have to, this is gonna have to be something pretty special. Like all eyes are on the two people in the centre of the room. No, no, You're no. All, to... Yeah, all eyes are on the people on the big speech that Harmony's giving at the moment. Yeah, that's why I'm choosing my moment. While yeah, the, yeah, yeah. The entire... It's still it's still incredibly risky. That's all I'm saying. What are you gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> it's the answer to that. Do you have inspiration? Uh, no, oh, okay. no, I don't. So don't need it. Just roll once. So I've got an extra two in dexterity. That's not too bad. Mm. That is a nine, plus two is eleven. I'm afraid that's not enough. Okay. Um, Boghat goes. He's up to something. Look at him. Look at him. Look at what he's doing. He's doing. He's going somewhere around there. Stop Egg it. Egbert. Egbert. I try and back uh, fake fake that I'm. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. What do you goes, fake? Uh, please. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, Pal yeah. Paladin, we'll get to you very soon. If you could just go back to your, sorry. Uh, yes, your sorry. team line. I would Fair just enough. like to let everyone know that this warlock here, this guy, I hate, I hate him. It's not my friend. Okay, <laughs> that is duly noted. He has made a pretty good uh, argument friend, for being... Friend to all. Oli and a friend to all. Not friend to me. Just saying. Okay, all right. Well, you you can't please everyone. I mean, <laughs> it's literally the, the point is to be friend to all, not friend to well, me. Well, you can be a friend to someone else and they cannot be a friend to you. Well, I'm, I'm, s I'm starting to sense that this team is largely basing its tactics on um, on semantics. <laughs> I'm just okay. What? So the the what? hummus. I will say that the hummus he gave me did give me a tummy ache. Okay. As well. We, would a friend give would a, a friend, friend give a friend hummus when they clearly he already when they clearly already hands. had too much hummus? <laughs> <laughs> he clearly had scooped river water with those hands. Yeah, he didn't yeah, wash yeah, them yeah, before yeah. he ate the hummus. Friends and if you were a true friends. friend, you'd have stopped yeah. me. <laughs> you just let me eat hummus. <laughs> Claudette kind of raised an eyebrow. I was like, that does sound pretty bad. All right, uh, Prudence. Yes. Uh, That's tell me. me about how you are an <clears throat> early warlock who is friend to all. Start okay. with your patron and we'll go from there. Okay. Well, the thing about the dictionary defines holy. <laughs> the the dreadful <laughs> Cthulhu. <laughs> um, my patron is the great old one, Cthulhu. And the thing Great. about holiness is that it is a subjective matter, a personal matter between a warlock and their patron. And as Cthulhu defines holiness, it is murder. So I commit holy murders in the name of my warlock patron. The word, and the sometimes word I do other might, stuff. My test badly. I'm just. Well, everyone's friendly to Prudence because they're terrified of her. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that, yeah. Mm, Prudence again, may that be my very best friend. That mm. is demanding everyone is friend to you. Um, I'm, I'm, af I'm afraid that uh, murder precludes the possibility that you are a friend to someone oh. because friends don't murder our friends. So oh, yeah. I'm calling this um, round I'll for... I'll have you know that most murders are committed by people that know the person, so... <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Marilyn's been listening to some true crime Marilyn. podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to call this one for uh, for Armony and the, uh, the true heroes oh. of Geth. It is uh, one all here at halftime. Uh... <laughs> We're going to take a 15 minute break. Right. And I need some orange we'll slices. Back. I'm very yes. mad and I need okay. to eat something. And then we will change ends. <laughs> to be honest, it was a tall order, Prudence. <laughs> <laughs> Holy uh, warlock so, friend to all. <laughs> yeah, take 15. Uh, we'll, we'll be back. Ah, uh, okay. Um, okay. Uh, Good hustle out there, folks. I thought, you know, 
we're leaving it all on the field. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I want to see I want to see good fundamentals in the second half. Okay. Uh, yeah, good. Mm-hmm. I want to see hustle out there. I want to see communication. I want to see teamwork. Yep. Let's uh, got it. Let's go out go there and coach. put up. Let's go out there and put up that W. Okay. Hands in. Everyone. All right. All right. Okay. What are we? Team winners. Right. Yeah. Team, team winners. winners. Can't wait to win. this. We've got nice. to do the hands in. Quare. Bog heck, I don't care what's going on right now. Just put your hands in. Hey, Corey, oh God, judge, hey, do judge, it. look at him telling his friends. Look friends at him, his all. friends. Yeah. I've already won the point. You. Oh. Hey, Quare, Quar- yeah. how many sons are there? <laughs> <laughs> Corazon, do you think you could distract Bog heck by t- seducing his ex girlfriend? Yeah, easily. I go and seduce Bog heck. We'll do it, man. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you change ends. And after 15 minutes, Claudette says, okay, we will begin um, uh, the, the second half. We now, uh, it is uh, very simple, where we need to see a druid who defies uh, the moon. Uh, you may have noticed this, um, this circle in the floor. It is very simple. If you step onto it and you can cast Moonbeam, you will uncontrollably. <gasps> so mm. I would just like uh, Bogek. Uh, uh, oh, no, wait, your team won the last point. Um, Please, uh, uh, no. Merylwen, will you please step onto the the the, the oh, circle? No. Oh. Mer- Merylwen, Merylwen, mm-hmm. you're a pre- you're a prepared caster, right? Uh huh. So you have to prepare the spells that you. Uh-huh. What, components, what components do you need? Can you throw away the components? No, that won't work because of the magic circle. Well, I don't know. I don't know whether I don't know whether the magic circle, like if I prepared it or not. I think it will still know that I know the spell. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But you can't cast so, it if you haven't prepared it, right? No. I feel like the magic circle would know something about that. Okay, we need to wipe mem- Merylwen's memory. <gasps> can we, yeah, can we, can we wipe her memory? Merylwen, quick, I say. I, I slip Merylwen my flask of uh, overproof rum. I say, drink all of this <laughs> and you'll forget everything that you know about Moonbeam. I down it. Do it. <laughs> all right, make me a constitution saving throw, please. <laughs> oh, dear. This is okay. We're talking like proper old school naval strength run. Oh right? yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh dang! You know what? It doesn't yes. matter what the what the DC is. You <laughs> just roll the natural one. Um. Okay. <laughs> Meryl when absolutely yes. <laughs> has to be helped into the circle. <laughs> like Meryl when just kind of like honestly is like. Just goes like duh, 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 and keeps going. You just <laughs> fall smack on your back. You hear Harmony go, What are they doing now? Honestly, that pirate's a bad influence. He's my okay. friend, you shot. Yeah, Whoa. shut up. Alright, okay. All right. okay, all right. Well, are we doing this trial or what? Get in the circle. On harmony, Elf. your harmonies suck. I don't <laughs> sing. Oh, I do. Yeah. Oh, I thought I sang beautifully. Well, you're a mean drunk. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a harsh okay. truth drunk. <laughs> oh, no. I like um, drunk Marilyn. Yeah. Let's, keep her, let's keep her hammered. Who's helping Marilyn into the circle? Yeah. I am. Oh, no, All wait. Right. If I stand in the circle, am I going to accidentally cast Oh, yeah, me? true. Guess you stay <laughs> in the circle. Like, <laughs> yeah. stay the circle. I cannot cast Moonbeam, so I help Marilyn into the magical circle. Bruins, you're okay. my favourite. Well, you're everyone's my favourite. Oh, well, that's less of a compliment favorite. than Marilyn. But okay. You're my okay, favourite well, favourite. Well, that's just as well. Okay. Look at this friend to all in going on. Look yeah, at Moonbeam helping this drunk Here we are. Elf. All right. I'm afraid that's a different trial. She's not She's not. A, she's not a warlock. So. Okay. Uh, oh, you mean that, that point has already been decided. Um, yeah, I know. There's about gonna... 10 to 15 minutes of Meryl when just talking. Yeah. And she goes, okay, yeah, clearly she cannot cast Moonbeam. It, uh, take her away, <laughs> that is great. Um, All right, come on, Meryl when. Okay. Right, Let's, Let's get you some water. Thanks. Okay, uh, Bogek, do you want to do you want to come and uh, try and not cast a spell in the spell circle? Uh, Bogek goes, aye, and I know she told me she could cast Moonbeam. There's something wrong here. And it goes up, up, whatever it is, it goes deeper than that pirate's carousing. <laughs> he says, and he comes and stands on the plate and goes, watch, nothing. I cast Moonbeam. <laughs> 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 Very quietly. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 
make me a dexterity stealth roll. <laughs> oh no! And do better than last time. <laughs> yeah, do better please than last time. do better than last time. All right. Please. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. All right. Fifteen well, uh, plus two, seventeen. Okay. Right. Yeah. That's fine. Uh, you cast a perfect moonbeam. Just as he's like, I can't cast it. <laughs> <laughs> no! Yes. Yay, okay, well you did it! I, I, I moonbeam! It's gorgeous! I cast Yay. moonbeam! I cast it! Ow! Oh. oh! I suppose that was the start of my turn. Ow! Congratulations. Oh, I you failed. did it! Let it fall! <laughs> yeah, yeah, get it now. I get it. He steps back Someone out. Someone get marijuana the, coffee. <laughs> the circle. <laughs> Harmony is in sense. Like, you could cast Moonbeam this entire time. <laughs> and Bogheck goes, no, it's the most amazing thing I couldn't before, and now I can. Just look how happy Bogheck is. And finally, uh, like, well, um, Claudette goes, okay, so, um, so very clearly, this is, uh, this is uh, another point to... Uh, 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 this this team, uh, what would you, what would you call yourself? The true, the, the, true, the true heroes of Geth, I think they're called. The, no, the true <laughs> heroes of Geth are over there. No, don't give them my point. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, we're the winners. winners. We're the, the team winner. Okay, all right, yeah. team winners. team winner. Uh, you have it. So that's uh, two to one. So uh, one. this is the last trial. Uh, we need to find uh, the paladin who makes no boom. All we need is a draw. Well. I mean, it, yeah, if it's a draw, then he goes to sudden death. And, uh, Wait, in this round, though? Sudden death. All, all we need is a draw. Uh, oh, draw all you round. need is a draw in this round, yes, mm -hmm. yes. Okay. And that's true, yes. A clever paladin. Win. Yeah. So what's the, what's this, what is this trial? Oh, well, I mean, we've not come this far uh, before. Uh, but like I say, normally uh, we just have one team who just shows us that they're not, uh, you know, an absolutely... Um, Gunpowder obsessed, uh, bomb making and throwing, uh, flame spouting. Uh, I start sweating, even though I'm not even sure <laughs> Dragonborns of, uh, can sweat. Sort of uh, paladin, and uh, we we say, okay, we give them the artifact. That's kind of how we thought this was going to go. And now you've put me on the spot. Admittedly, I had all morning to prepare this, but I don't know how to make this a, a competition. Uh, maybe we should just sit here until um, uh, one of these paladins makes a loud noise. Because they can't resist the temptation, or uh, huh. on you know by accident, yeah. or okay. on purpose. Yeah. I would like to um, I would like to use Mage Hand's Leisure Demain to take one of the bombs from Egbert's pouch, and to uh, just to pop it inside the other paladins. Well, no, I'd like to just sort of drop it on them, just what? into their hands. You, They'll probably throw it away, right? Okay. Yeah, probably. Yeah. That's a good point. All right. Fine. I don't want to hurt anyone, but I mean, yeah. if we drop a lip bomb on them, yeah, probably something will happen. Nice long, nice long grease. fuse. Please. Put a nice long fuse on it. What? What will grease? What will grease achieve? Full glatter. Full glatter. I don't know Is if that's. A, I don't know if that's a boom though. I think she wants a fork platter. Fork platter. Yes. <laughs> Lunch will be provided <laughs> after the trial. We just have to hang on for this last thing. Um, anyway, no, I was, what, kebab, I was, I think. what I was actually wondering everyone is, what the hell is that? I say, and I point to the other side of the room. Huh? And then I, cast, I, I mage hand a, uh, a bomb, light it, and drop it into the hands of the other paladin. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, mm. Make me a charisma persuasion check to see if people are actually going to turn. I mean, I'm definitely gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna roll for it. I got a five. Oh, you know what would really help right now? Fourteen. You know that You know that new spell that Dob just learned? And we all know about because of the levelling up video. Yeah. yeah. The spell that's literally make a big loud boom <laughs> at a remote location. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Side. Sure would be good to have Dob here right now. Hey. So off, he, off he ran into the woods. <laughs> He's in a volcano right He's now. He's in a volcano now. He's in a oh. volcano now. Uh, so what did you get, 14? 14, yeah. Okay. I got a five, so I'm definitely looking. Okay. It's not It's not gone great for you, I'm not going to uh -oh. lie, Corazon. Um, some turn, Claudette uh, and Bridget are both just looking directly at you. Mm -mm. Good thing Mage Hand's invisible. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're looking at you. <laughs> 
Uh oh. You just have to steer the bomb around the back of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like... <laughs> just like they're looking at me and I'm looking at the bomb. Is <laughs> it? Is it okay. loose? <laughs> yeah, make me a deck stealth check, All I right. guess. Oh god. <laughs> what? Oh no. What is um, it? That's nine. Oh. Okay. So, with Claudette, I rolled a six. <gasps> so she does not notice the bomb. Hmm. With Bridget, I rolled a natural 20. Oh! So she sees you doing oh, this. No. She sees the bomb. And she sees it sort of just she gonna delicately drop into her lap. <laughs> yeah, shout. And yeah, she's trapped. Like, oh, she doesn't no. want to shout. She's holding a bomb. Uh, oh, oh, Bridget. Uh, hang, hang on a second. This, she's got, there's a bomb! I shout. <laughs> Everyone turns back to see Bridget, like, huh? hold, hold this bomb up and try and frantically gnaw through the fuse cord before the spark reaches. She's just like. Oh, she actually does it really well. Oh. She kind of goes... Oh. <laughs> oh. That was a narrow escape. Oh, yeah. good job, Bridget. Um, Whatever that was about. Why did you bring a bomb in here, Bridget? Yeah, why would you like the What were you thinking? Yeah. Isn't that Didn't... the complete opposite of the prophecy? He I turned to call that. My... Isn't that the... Isn't he dropped that the... it in my... He dropped it in my hands. Dropped it... Who? Who did? What, sorry? You did. How did I drop a bomb in your hands? I don't know. You just... I'm stood... You looked at me I'm like right you were here. like... Well, it floated over here. Uh, it sounds like magic. Rogues can't do magic, so... Can rogues not do magic? Pretty sure rogues can't do magic. You hear, um, <laughs> Bogheth go, Well, this one can't! And you hear a book being thrown at a dwarf. <laughs> oh! I didn't... Oh. It's not my bomb! I hate loud noises. And in any case, it's not gone off. That's yes, true. that is. That is. Mm. A, a I don't think I'm out of the competition, respectfully. Mm. Mm -hmm. True. Well. Hang on. I don't think, respectfully... That I am out of the competition. Almost did myself out of the competition there. Yeah. <laughs> I cast grease under her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right then. Uh, what's your DC? What's your spell save DC? 14. We have made a mockery of these trials. I just rolled a 15. Damn it! Oh. She goes, I, I think it's not fair. <laughs> Oh, oh careful. a very strange day. Slippery under there. Um, well, at least Egbert hasn't exploded for at least four or five minutes. Yeah. So that's, that's pretty good. I'm really struggling here, guys. I'm going to have to hurry this along. <laughs> <laughs> I, ca I, cast, I cast Minor Illusion to create the sound of an explosion on Bridget. What? Oh. You can create sounds with Minor Illusion. Oh. Okay. Well, isn't that a thing? Mm -hmm. What's your spell save DC again? 14. Okay. I love that that was Plan C, Corazon. <laughs> I just, I only, I've run out of the good stuff, and now I'm looking through my spell cards. Bridget did not beat your spell save DC with a uh, wisdom saving throw, so she completely buys this noise, and she goes ah! and throws the bomb over her shoulder, which explodes raucously Whoa. taking yeah. a huge chunk of chunk of the bleachers out with it and sending stones wow. like sh like flying across the room the, the, the sound is deafening um, and your ears are kind of like what? I mean I imagine like Egbert's Egbert, like oh finally yeah. <laughs> Egbert pretty much permanently has tinnitus but everyone else is kind of like Ow, my and, ears. You can just hear through the kind of the ring. You can see just mm. Harmony going absolutely spare, just like tearing <laughs> his clothes and just like throwing his hands up. Ah. And Claudette is just like. Um, <laughs> and she snaps her fingers. You see Benoit kind of stand up and go like. And he disappears off into a back room. And sure enough, he comes out with a small chest. Mm. And he's like. All right, um, that was a farce. <laughs> um, um, I like you, Benoit. You're a straight talker. Yeah, Benoit. Yeah. We're a straight shooter. Yeah, all right. I believe you had some sort of artifact for us. Yeah, it looks like you won this thing, so there you go. Yay! Looks like a useless lump of stone to me, but, you know, whatever. Present! It's cool. We'll, we'll have it anyway, you know, may as well. Is she all right? You're, no! Um... Yeah. Oh. No. Right. We'll... we'll... How... We'll make her better. We'll get her some bowls of raw coffee to eat. I'll be fine. Give okay. me a tiki bar. 
Oh. Yeah, we'll go no, on not... to the tiki bar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're okay. Moving on to a second location. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, I take the many... chest and like just. There we go. Chest Harmony is secured. Harmony is so loudly arguing with with Claudette and like stamping and just like absolutely just losing it that he doesn't even notice you all go. Uh, friend, you decamp- friend to everyone. Yeah. Right? Look, yeah. at the, look at the friend to everyone, I say, as we retreat. He's still going. Look, look at that holy warlock. Ah, you as decamp- if that's a thing. You decamp to the tiki bar. To be honest, by the time you've turned up, like a good half dozen of the, the wild pigs that live on the island are, are, like, are just following Marilyn being like... <laughs> ah. Just kind of like... Whether she's just like <laughs> just drunkenly radiating animals. From- <laughs> She's picked up a lot of them. They're like traffic cones, <laughs> just everywhere. Little conga um, line you, of pigs. You make it into the tiki bar. Hurricanes for everyone. You fetch a round of drinks. <sighs> when you when you uh, arrive, uh, Quora de, de Leonessa is already sat there, just like... Hey! All right, how many sons out there, Hey. Eh? <laughs> Could have said you were bringing friends. It's two. It's all right, come and join us. Have some, have some drinks. You'll have a good time for once. Put the book down. I'm sat at your table, I... <laughs> I snuck. I snuck in here. I'm a rogue. It's what we do. That's we slide good. in on either side of the booth. Around. <laughs> yeah. Hey. All right. I, yeah. I cool. put, wait, wait, wait. I put the chest on the table and I open it because we got to see what's in there. Yeah, we got to make sure okay. it's the right shard. You open it up. It's a lead-lined chest, clearly to sort of keep whatever magical influence of this artifact uh, is at bay. But uh, as you open it up, you do in fact see one of the three mm, keys. Yes. Uh, that needs to go in the orb. Prudence from your satchel, you can actually feel the orb sort of pulsating, as if yes. to say, guess it. Oh, <laughs> little orb. Little orby, what's, what's the little key? Guess it. Can we not guess have just shown Claudette sure. that we've actually got the orb? Like, that might That's not the it. prophecy, though, Egbert, is it? Prophecy no, was all that nonsense matter. that we just ha- did. Having the orb is also, like, kind of suggests that we should have it. And eh, we, we won anyway. It, started with that. it might suggest that we shouldn't have it. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, the drunk elf is right. Harmony said that once we got the artifact, we were going to destroy it because it was the good and righteous thing to do. Oh, boo! Well, there you go. Harmony. Total waste of time. We've got this whole Hellraiser quest going on. Woo! <laughs> Look at this thing. Woo! Yeah. Sure enough, as you start to like woo the uh, the shard, it starts to slowly sort of levitate, Ooh. Uh, as if to say, like in it goes. All right, uh, we pop pop it in, just like pop it in. Yep. 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 Um, I nervously sip my hurricane. The orb kind of goes and really vibrates with a much stronger energy than you've seen before as it accepts the second key. And then you see sort of a repetition of uh, the little moats kind of coming out the top Mm. and it shows you a key and then it starts to zoom out again. And it seems like it's trying to show you the court of the Thief Queen again. But then the image kind of goes like (coughs) and then you just get uh, the word error flash up. We need to find Katie Pearlhead. Yeah. Error, mm. error, error, mm. error, error. It's at, at this point, Prudence, you hear a familiar voice go, uh, Prudence? Prudence? I look Prudence. around. What? Who? What? No, it's. Hi, it's Dub. Oh! Message? Me- message. Oh, hi, Dub! Hi, yeah, um, just a quick one. Uh, yeah. I, caught up, I caught up to Katie. I've got the shard. It's in the usual place. Oh, no. Oh, the bottom of the lake. <laughs> oh, no. But, uh, gotta go. Uh, no, don't t- wait. No, don't wait. Don't well, wait. Katie and I wait. appear to have a lot to work out. So, don't wait. Uh, di- What's the All right, good luck. Oh, too late. Okay. Um, well, now. Hey, now. Um, <laughs> Hear what I say now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, friends. I know where the next shard is, but I don't really. But Dob does. But Dob messaged me, and now he's gone. And he says it's in <sighs> the usual place. So he's thrown it in a Dob- lake. Mm. Yeah. Brilliant. All right, we're going to need at least one more round of hurricanes over here. Mm-hmm. I don't miss our bard either. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, I miss Dob. Z- oh. Z- great. Okay. Sings cool songs to like hype us up, and he's tall and puts people to sleep a lot <laughs> on purpose. Oh. <laughs> what was your bar- What was your bard like? Oh, the polar opposite. So you can imagine she was really hard to get on with. Oh. Yeah. Oh. What was her name? Yeah. <laughs> Probably something cool. 
<laughs> she roguishly leaves. No! 